Hello everybody, my name is Magneti and welcome back to another satisfactory mod review video. And today we're going to be talking about the smart mod, what it does, how to use it, and why it is so amazing. So what is the smart mod? The smart mod helps you build factories and structures. What can you do with the smart mod? Well, you can do this if you want, but there's all kinds of other things you can do with the smart mod as well, and I'm going to show you. So you already saw what you could do with a foundation, but how do you do it? So by holding left shift, you can build out or in, and by holding left alt, you can build left or right to make it wider. And then, so we're going to do a five by five here. And then if you hold U, that shifts everything up kind of like in a stair fashion. You could also do it the downward way. We're going to leave this nice and flat. And as you can see in the top right corner, it gives you a, so right now it says five by five for me because I have it five deep and five wide. And then if I hold U, go up, let's say five, it'll show that I held U, which means to step up or down. So we stepped up by five. And then if we go back down, we can step down by five as well. Now, if we want to do that, we'll do, we'll just do one. So we'll step it up by one and then we can hold T to twirl. And then you can see that that also shows you. And if we do a twirl by 40, I'll show you here that centers the foundation on the seam of the two foundations before it, as you can see with every foundation there. Now we're going to just do that at five as well. And then if we hold E to elevate, it just lifts everything up into the sky, which is pretty nice. If you want to build, say, a platform right here, and then you want to build it, I don't know, 10 walls up or something, you can build 10 walls up, build a platform that you want to make, build it out to cover this whole thing, and then just elevate it up as high as you want. The only issue with this is that you'll, you will end up getting this uh, one foundation here. So it might just be easier to build 10 walls up and then just build it from there outward. Now we're not gonna elevate this structure just because I want it to be nice and flat right here so that I can use it. I'm not actually gonna have a use for it, but I'm just gonna walk on it. Now you can also hold P to space the platforms out. So we'll do that by five just to show you. And it goes by 0.1 meters. So this is half a meter in game spaced out. Now that's all the functions except for H, which is the hold function. And as you can see, I'm looking around and trying to build the structure. But if I put it here, push H, now it's going to hold and I can look literally anywhere. And I'll even show you, I can look right at the sun. If I click, now it's built just like that. And this is awesome. I like it when it's uh, pushed up one step because then you can just step on it just like this. And I think it's kind of cool. Now, it's not only usable with foundations and walls, it's also usable with factory buildings like constructors. And now I will mention this right away, that it's not entirely, entirely awesome to use with smelters or manufacturers, simply because it is a little harder to make things look pretty and center it. So for example, I'll show you here, if we take a smelter, Make sure it's on auto hold and then say we want to build four of them. If we try and space it out to get it nice and centered, it's not going to be perfectly centered on each foundation. Whereas things like the constructor or the packager that take up an entire foundation space, this works perfectly because say I want to build five of them and I want to space them out by one foundation, it'll be perfectly spaced out because it consumes an entire foundation platform. And I'll even show you here, I can build it out all the way to the end and it's still perfectly centered on the single foundation. If you've gotten value out of this video or you want to see more content like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell notifications so that you can get notifications every time I upload an amazing video just like this one. Anyways though, you can still use it to build nice looking factories. I just recommend that it's best used with packager, refineries, uh, assemblers, constructors, and that's about it for factory buildings. It still can be used with smelters, and manufacturers. Oh, uh, foundries are good as well. It's just not as pretty. And with refineries, uh, you have to make sure that you space them out by, um, by one foundation. So here, if I show you, we'll go like this. We'll make five, space it out by one foundation. And as you can see, it's nice and centered on each and every one of them. And I will take it out all the way to the end again, just to show you. Looks nice and pretty. Now the key features of this mod is the fact that you don't need to carry a special tool like the Area Actions mod. 
There's nothing in my inventory that I need to operate this. It just comes built in with the constructor tool. There's no UI that you need to configure to make it operate at maximum speed. It's just defaulted that way. Another cool feature is that, say I wanna build a 10 by 10 here, just like this. It will always cost me 600 concrete, no matter what, if I wanna build a 10 by 10 foundation. The parts needed to build something stays the same. Something else cool that you can do that Area Actions doesn't, as you can see, I built this platform with area actions and I cannot copy this this foundation here using the middle mouse button. And if I dismantle it, it does not give me my concrete back. Whereas if I built something like this, I built this with area actions. Here, I'll show you here. I'll build a five by one. It costed me concrete and I can get it all back. Now I'm in creative, so that doesn't really matter, but it does help if you're not in creative mode using the pack utility mod. There's a nice little directional arrow that helps you build, so you know that you're building in a certain direction, just like that. There is no limit to the size of the platform or structure that you may want to build. However, I will warn you, if you don't have an insanely beefed PC with an RTX 3090 SLI, you are gonna die. Trust me, it's not gonna be fun. Now, if you don't know what that means, it's okay. All I'm saying is that don't build platforms too big. As you can see, I'm already lagging and I just have a 58 by 11. That's like 580. It's like 600 platforms though, so that's a lot. I would just recommend to minimize your platform building all at once. And along with all that, I already covered this, but like I said before, you can twirl it, you can step it up or down, you can elevate it, you can space it out. It's This mod covers just about everything you can imagine. And don't forget the holding mod or the, the holding actions so that you can look around and build wherever you want. Now this mod also comes with a menu that you have to push M for, but as you can see, the map still comes up. The cool thing about that is that as soon as you start building something that smart, the smart mod can use, you push M and there you go. Now the smart settings is up and you can change that show arrow I was talking about. If you want to turn it off, you can. You can build through other structures or buildings. I don't like that personally. You can show info when building, which is that top right corner screen I was talking about that shows you your X by X. You can show update descriptions, which is every time the mod is updated, it pops up at the screen the next time you load the game. I would recommend keeping that on. And auto hold mode, which I personally don't like that much, but if you prefer that every time you go to build something, it automatically stays put. Uh, you can check that and it'll do that. And then last but not least, the left hand configuration, instead of using WASD, or excuse me, using WASD instead of up, left, down, and right, this is uh, for, here I'll show you for example, if I want to build using the arrows, as you can see, and listen. All right, you can do that. Now, if you're left-handed or if you just prefer it to be used with WASD so that you can't move, that that's all right. You can do that if you want. And then of course, don't forget to donate because this mod is amazing and subscribe to the Smart YouTube channel because this mod is amazing. And the creator of the mod also shows videos on his updates on his YouTube channel. I'm subscribed and I watch almost all of those videos every time he updates. And last, again, last but not least for clickable menu option things here, you can view the update information right here and all previous versions. All right, now that I've covered just about everything in this mod, I'm just gonna give you a list here of different things that can be built with the smart mod. And I'm just gonna go over it super quickly here. With the smart mod, you can build a packager, refinery, constructor, assembler, Manufacture, Smelter, Foundry, Stackable Conveyor Pole, Stackable Pipeline, All Walkways, All Walls, All Regular Foundations and Ramps, plus the Inverted Ramps, All Pillars, Base, Middle, and Top, and All Skating Pipes, aka Factory Cart Pipes. And those are all the structures or factory buildings that you can apply the smart mod to. So like I said earlier, the, the twirl, elevate, step up, down, 
etc. Now, as of December 7th of 2020, this mod does not support anything else, but I'm sure any other structures, rather. I'm sure the mod creator will update it to support more things in Satisfactory. Let's move into the actual review of the mod now that I've covered just about everything you can do with the mod. Actually, I think I have covered everything you can do with the mod. Right here on my screen is all the ratings for this mod, and that covers the 10 categories of ranking for my mod reviews. Now, I'm not going to be explaining why this mod got all these ratings, all I am going to say is that this mod got a 99.54% if you include my personal rating, which is 111 out of 111, and the overall score for the categories was 110 out of 111. So if you add that together, divide by, you know, whatever, 222, that's 99.54, and that means that this mod has been granted the Medal of Satisfaction, and of course, you know, that's pretty much a given because this mod is just essentially perfect. If you would like to see why I included these rankings at the level that I did, you can check out the description. I will provide a description of why I gave the ranking in that manner and what the ranking was, etc. Now, something else I want to mention lastly is that Compatibility for this mod is pretty awesome. It provides compatibility for the X3 Roads mod, fully, fully supports the mod, and then also for the Upside Down Foundations mod, or excuse me, the Upside Down Foundations and More mod, it supports 23 foundations and 20 ramps for that mod, the Upside Down Foundations and More mod. If you like this satisfactory mod review, go ahead and click that like button so I can be motivated as hell to bring more satisfactory mod reviews to you. But for now, this is it, and I will see you in the next Satisfactory video. Peace!